Welcome back. Welcome back. Here we go. Anything that moves. All righty. Let's get into it. Today, what are we go- we're going to have some stuff at the end. Let me just tell you that now. All right. And before we get to the end, what are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about a stock that's been up a whole lot. Look at this chart. We're going to go over this. This is ANF, and then we're going to get into Tilray. Okay, for the people who are here for that. So let's first still start with ANF, the ticker. Amercrombie and Fitch. Is this not sexy? If this isn't sexy, what is, people? You got to love it. Why am I talking about it? Do you see this? Do you see this? Okay, right here, 351%. Let me put it in green. Yep, there we go. I love that. I love that. It's like, it's like no stress. I'm not like anything's always like non-stress, but you can go to sleep at night and know that, okay, it'll still be here. So we know the market is selling off and stuff. We see, you know, that, okay, look here, it has these little bumps, but I mean, it's done that before, but the overall, and this is what I'm talking about. The overall trend is nicely up. Okay. Nicely. I put this in the same video as Tilray for people who want to balance some of that Tilray action out with something that, you know, has been historically, you know, on an upward trajectory. So you can sleep. Tilray is something like, it's something different. We'll go to that chart. But anyway, okay, so back to this. Let's just zoom out a little bit here on this. Okay, so now here we see in April, we're here. So now... Let's go right here. Do you see, I'm just going to make, all right, like I just drew a line there because this point right here and this point right here, okay, that level, we kind of went through it a little bit, but so this is like $114 in some sense, okay? So we can still go down. Yes, we can, but will we bounce here? Okay, let's say the market calms down and it stops selling off eventually, right? Will we bounce and start turning back up to go to this level of 140? Even if you didn't want to hold this stock like on and on and on for the future, some people will just do a swing position wherever wherever it bases out. So maybe it'll base out here and and that'll be the support or maybe here, right? So, or maybe a little lower. Let's just say just for, you know, Let's just humor ourselves here. Let's just say $100. If it stopped here at 100 and you held to 140, okay? $40 move, people. $40 move. I mean, you don't have to be in the beginning of the move and you don't have to be at the, at the extreme end of the move. Somewhere in the middle. But the reason why it looks safer, right? Because this, you know, it's just been going up historically. Okay, so I wanted to show show that and you see here why is she saying this? Look, it's proven itself just a little bit. Past performance doesn't mean it's going to always do this, but it has, you know, for, for a minute. It's not day one here for the stock. Okay, let's move on a little bit more. Okay, what is Bazinga saying? Okay, so we see here, you know, Bazinga gave it technically speaking. Oh, what about that? This is why I'm drawn to it because that's what I like. I like technical analysis. People say stuff all the time. I cannot buy into what someone is saying. Oh, they say this, they say that. You know, like they're always trying to fake us out. Like, oh, with AMD, oh, China's not going to um, have the foreign chips come over. And then next thing you know, chips are flying again or chips are selling off. Like they're always faking us out and whatever. I'm not saying those things are true or not true or whatever, but there's a lot of manipulation. But when we do the technical analysis, is hey, we're just reading the chart. I don't care what anybody say. I'm just reading the chart. All right. Like, let the chart talk to me. Finan- financial analysis. Okay, so not a bad score here. Not a bad score. Let's scroll down. We got a 75 over here. On the left side, we scroll. It's the daily chart. Okay, we're going to scroll down a little bit more. The financials. All righty. So what are we looking at here? Revenue. Okay, for people who don't see, hold on. What I'm looking Revenue, the green bars. Okay, right? Earnings, the blue. Even if you don't know how to read this, this is what we're going to say simply. Okay, this is a quarter. They're going upward, right? Everything is on an upward trajectory, right? Annually, let's see. The bars, they're not going downward. They're going upward or they're holding. Kind of looks good, right? It looks a little good there. 
Okay, so here's some numbers. So, you know, not investment advice because we never know what's going to happen with, with these companies and stuff. But at least, you know, it's not falling out the sky or anything like that. Okay, I don't want to show you something falling out the sky. And then here we go over here. Okay, so, you know, the smart score here, what? It's a seven. All right, not low. Not low. Okay, so that's, that's kind of cool. Uh, everybody, I don't know if everybody knows what Abercrombie & Fitch is, but it's a retail, right, apparel. So I know back in the day, you know, it was popular. I don't know who's wearing that now, but Missy right here, she's the CEO. She's the CEO, and clearly she knows how to make uh, the stock move. So, you know, keep doing what you're doing, Missy. Okay, Fran, I am a fan. All right, let's move on for the people who are here for Boom, Tilray. Now look at this. We're up and down. It's all kind of crazy. I mean, some people, hey, some people like all this. This is good if you're a day trader because, you know, you ride it up. You know, you, you, could, you could short the tops. These pops, you short it back down. So that's good if you're doing that. But for the people who want to sleep at night, like, you don't really need to go into these kind of things. You could go into something like I just showed you before. But anyway, so here's Tilray. Now something to know. Okay, so now see these levels up here and this, this top here. Okay. The people who bought here, right? Okay, you're probably whoever bought there. They're bag holding probably. They probably thought it was going to keep going a little higher maybe. This is why I say, wait, hold on. This is why, let me just, I have to move something. This is why I say, don't try to hold for the whole move all the time. Like, you know, you can get out around here because the people who try to hold for this tippy tippy top, look, this time it didn't even go to the tippy tippy top. So sometimes, you know, don't, don't be greedy. Don't be greedy. So now they're probably back holding and they didn't realize it would drop this low. They probably thought it would come here and keep going. Like, look, earnings came. And some people are caught out there because they're at work and stuff like that. They don't even know earnings happened or whatever. Okay, so now we're down here. So how low can we go, right? Now, anyway, let's just look at this. For the year, this is where we're at, okay? 31% on the year. So this is not like uh, when you're a little bit older, you don't want all this drama. It's like this is like a little bit of hot drama, okay? A little bit of drama. So what's the next levels, right? That's where everybody wants to know. What's the next level? Okay, so now we're down here at, okay, you see on the right side? I'm on the right side where the red box is. Okay, $1.72. Will we go down here? What is that? Like $1.60, okay? Do you see what I'm trying to show you? Let me just get the um, official trend line thingy out, all right? We'll just draw an official trend line. Okay, for everybody, because, you know, I know y'all want to know. So it's like $1.62-ish, $1 $1.60, okay? So will we stop around here? Will that be the base? Maybe this will be the base we're at now. You never know. Maybe it'll turn around. But, uh, you know, just in case it's not, will it be 160 or will we go look over here, the left side? Okay, I'm over here, the left side. Will we come down here? Let me just get the trend line, official trend line for you guys. All right. Here we go. When I say guys, I mean guys and girls. Okay, guys and gals. All right. 150. So we're, you know, any anything down in here. All right. So what's your little buy zone level? You know, you got this area. So 160 to 150. So now people who are shorting, right, they're shorting it. They'll probably want to start covering, you know, and taking profits down around in here, okay? So hopefully it stops here for everybody who's, who's in that and it goes back up. How high will it go? I don't know. I, this is not a stock that I, I'm in, right? So we see here on the, let me just get this cursor again here, highlight this, okay? They're saying it's a neutral. This is a cannabis stock, right? Cannabis stocks are not doing well right now. Okay, so that's one of the things that I see people do sometimes. They get into something and then they're like married to it for life. Here we go. Let's try it again. Okay, for the week, the month, the quarter, this is the performance. So this area right here. Okay, what I want you to see, short float, 15%. Okay, when something's over 10% of a short float, 
A lot of people feel pes- pessimistic about it. A lot of people are shorting it. Okay, so it's going to take a minute before this thing turns around sometimes. When the people who are shorting, when they start covering and stuff like that, then the stock can go up. But just beware. Like, I don't want you putting all your money in right now. Like, give it a minute. Just be careful. So that's my point. I just want to make sure that you're careful with this, okay? Okay, as I was trying to say, I just want you all to be careful. But, you know, we have fear. Of course, when there's blood in the street, it's time to start buying, though. So you just got to be careful what positions you're trying to get in what stocks, you know, and trying to catch a falling knife. So I just wanted to bring that in. So now, I don't know if everybody's aware, but today, okay, there is some record flooding going on in Dubai, okay? Record flooding. You see this? It was the heaviest rainfall, like, in 75, like, all of it. In 75 years, like, everything came down. Like, everything came down. It was like, what did they say? Like, a year of rain in one day or something like that. Nearly four inches fell in just 12 hours. Look at this. This is a hot mess. Why am I even talking about Dubai? I mean, hey, some of us was thinking maybe one day. I mean, will we live there or something like that? Why do I talk about that? Offshore banking. Offshore banking. When I was flying back, I was out the country like a week, a week, a week ago, I think it's been already, and I was uh, sitting talking with an international businessman, right? And we were talking about offshore banking and things like that. And he's like, oh, well, where do you do yours? And I, I think about this, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so now the point is, is that, you know, Dubai is one of those places that people go to do that. Okay, and so now when we look at all these photos, it's like, oh, my God, are you underwater, Dubai? It's like, oh, Lord. So just bringing that up, you know, to your attention and everything. You know, just a little fun fact to know this is what's happening today in Dubai. All right, I'll see you all next time on Anything That Moves. Bye for now.